Hey everyone, welcome back to Couch. We're here with Greg Kasavin of Supergiant Games, the developer of Bastion. Hey. <laughs> How's it going? going? Going great. How are you guys? Excellent. Pretty good. Decent enough. I can remember a time where you, like every gamer everywhere knew your name, and then like yeah. I showed I showed the team the the old penny arcade where Tycho was bragging about having yeah, a yeah. rookie card, and and so now. It seems like like you're less in the limelight, and and everyone loves the game, but it's it's less like like you're the the famous guy. You, you know, your your celebrity uh, is is lower, and you're more in the background. Like, what is that like for you? Uh, it's uh, it, it's just fine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I never. Uh, it was kind of a weird side effect of the of the GameSpot days. I think when we uh, when we were doing that um, and. You know, especially when when we started kind of putting our faces on things, sure. um, started doing video reviews and all that before video was like big on the sure, internet. Sure, sure. Mm-hmm. Like a prehistoric time. <laughs> I remember those days? Um, it, you know, I'm I'm a fairly kind of reclusive guy <laughs> in actuality, so so I don't mind um, that that things are a little quieter now. And then I can work on things that are like longer term. You worked at GameSpot for a decade, as you put it. Now, I mean, you write tons of reviews. You do all the video reviews. How would you say that experience factored into the making of a game? Yeah, it's um, my my GameSpot experience definitely helped me. Um, it, it, though it wasn't just the part where I was a game critic. I think part of what really helped me in that job was that, like, since, since I was editor in chief there, by by the end, um, I was working with our um you know our web designer like graphic artists and you know marketing people basically with all these different people um and and being able to work effectively on a team is really really important so after GameSpot, uh, you you worked on this command and conquer games for quite some time too yeah so you basically went from making like huge triple a games to, mm-hmm. to an indie game was there like a a big financial risk where you were you afraid <laughs> like for uh, your yeah, financial future uh, I mean, it was definitely uh, um for especially for amir and gavin who are the co-founders of the, of the studio and i, sure. I did uh, meet those guys while working uh, on the command and conquer series as you mentioned it's like these guys dropped everything you know moved into a house and started making this game at, at you know significant kind of financial peril to themselves <laughs> uh, so, was the did you call it Super Giant Games as sort of a ironic reflection that you were coming from these giant games, or what does well, the name mean? The, the, you know, the we went through like a ton of different uh, possible names. Um, I don't think Super Giant was ever meant like we we like the sort of cosmic uh, aspirational. <laughs> sort of that, like, uh, but uh, yeah, one I mean, day I, I think it's meant to sound kind of play, playful. Sure. Um, and there's obviously, I guess there's. Uh, unquestionably some irony (laughs) for seven people. So we were playing Bastion earlier, and you stated in interviews that you liked working on a game in your capacity, the capacity you've always wanted to. What exactly is the capacity that you've wanted to work in at that point? Yeah, so so especially working on AAA games, it's like almost everything is based on an existing uh, intellectual property. It's either going to be a sequel or it's going to be based on some license or or something like that. so for us, like the the chance to make something basically entirely from scratch of, of our own, you know, where mm-hmm. where the only real limit was uh, our our own imaginations and sort of the resources that we had, um, <laughs> that that was really really exciting. Word on the street is that you wrote a lot more backstory for the game that mostly only the team ended up seeing. Um, yeah. Is there any chance that that's ever going to be brought to the fans in some capacity? <laughs> yeah, I, I doubt it because the nature, the nature of it is um, it, so. So it's definitely true that there's a lot of there's a lot of backstory uh, created for the game, um, and that's really there just to inform all the stuff that will go in the game. And it makes you know writing the actual content that goes in the game a lot easier uh, mm-hmm. when you have all these details to draw upon. And you know, we have no plans to revisit uh, the world of the game right now but Ooh. should we ever decide to do that um, we, at least we have uh, we have all that material to, to look into um, as, as long as we're on story I feel like I would be remiss if I never if I if we didn't mention the voice work that Logan did oh my goodness. and the way that it was able to just drive the story forward so well and, and you know kind of narrate the action that's going on without feeling intrusive um, what, what are your thoughts on the work he did? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm totally 
I'm blown away by the work he did. It's like we were so very, very lucky to have been able to work with him. And <laughs> if not for him, um, we wouldn't have even uh, pursued that type of narrated technique at all. Do you have a favorite weapon of the game? I'm a... Uh, I'm sort of an army carbine guy. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> but yeah, I like, I like the kind of, you know, I like that kind of weapon in, in many games. And unfortunately, we're out of time. We have tons more questions oh. to ask, but <laughs> we're, we're out of unfortunately, time. Unfortunately, so thanks a lot to Greg from Supergiant for joining us. This has been Couch. Come back next week. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks, Greg. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. Ah, thanks, Greg. I'm Christine. No problem. <laughs> you too. Yeah, have a good one. Bye. Bye. I make the stupidest faces. <laughs> like, you watch me, I'm like...